Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we're gonna be having a look at navigation and creating templates with our project from last week. Before we get started, what I'd like you to do is give the video a like, comment below it, let me know that you're watching. And if you're watching us on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like so you can stay up to date with more new videos. Right, let's get started. So what we have here is our HMI project from last week and on our HMI project from last week we had two push buttons controlling two lamps, input one and input two. When input one turned on, this lamp here would turn from red to green and the same with input two. When this input turns on, this lamp here would turn from red to green. What I want to do, however, is I want to create some formality between all of my screens that I'm going to be creating next. And to do this, we create what we call a template. And then what we can do with this template is we can assign it to any screen and that screen will then have whatever that template has on it. So for example, if we put time and date up into the top left corner, every screen that uses that template will then have the time and date in the top left corner. So to create a template, all we do is we go to screen management and inside the screen management is template templates and then all we do from here is we just double click add new template. Now here is my template you can see I've already got one created here what I'm going to do is just delete this. There we go. Now you can see here it's called template 2. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click this rename this and then just backspace out the 2 and put this back to just template. Okay, now inside of this template, you can see here that the background screen here is slightly darker than what my home screen was. So to change this, if we go to properties, and then we just go to the properties of the screen, we can then change the background color. And what we'll do is we'll change it to this sort of light gray color. Remember, keeping it neutral so it's easy on the eyes. And then what we want to do is we then want to add something to this screen. And what I want to add is I want to add date and time, because I want the date and time to show on every screen. So to do this, all we do is we open up the elements from our toolbox and then inside of our elements is our date and time function here. It looks like the calendar with a clock. If I just click this and then I insert this onto my screen, there it is there. And what I can then do is I can drag this anywhere I want on the screen and I'm going to just drag it up into the top left corner here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this and go to its properties. Now inside of the properties, we can then change the color. So we can then change the color of the background, the fill pattern and the text, as well as any border as well. Because you can see on this actual date and time here, you've got this black border around it. So if I click on this and I change the color from black and I change it to red, my border now changes to red. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove the actual border. So we don't have any border. All it is now is just the actual date and time. And then what I can do as well is I can also change the date and time to then match the background of my HMI. So now it looks like the date and time is just on the actual HMI itself. You haven't got this sort of like boxy border around it. And then what we can do with this is I can actually change the actual format of the date and time itself, how it actually appears inside of the program. So first of all, it's saying here to use the actual system time, which is going to be pulled up from the HMI or from the PLC. And then here we've also got the show date and show time function. If I uncheck show date, it no longer shows the date. And if I uncheck show time, it no longer shows the time. Pretty standard. And the type here, you've got output and input output. We're gonna leave this as output. And what this means is that when the actual data is being displayed, it is only being displayed. The operator can't alter anything. If we change this to input output, this means that the operator can actually interact with this date and time and you can change things within this date and time. Next, what we can do is then go to text format and we can actually change how the text is being displayed. So you can see currently inside of the text format, it's to Homer nine point style bold. Now, if I ever wanted to change this, I'll just click on the three dots. And then inside of here, I can change the actual font style from here. So I might want to say, well, change this to normal. I don't want it to make it bold anymore. And I want it to be a size 15. I then say okay to that. And there's my date and time. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back to the way it was bold and I want to make it size 11 so it stands out a little bit more and there we go there so now it's showing the date and time and it's now showing it inside of the top left hand corner 
What I can also do is I can add in other buttons that I might want to use for other things. So for example, one of the most common features on PLCs is alarms. And what we usually do when an alarm turns on is we latch that alarm on inside of the PLC. When the alarm input turns off, the operator then has to reset the alarms. And we usually do that via a push button or via a button on the HMI. And what we could do here is we could create a fault reset push button and then tie that to the actual reset of the alarm latch and we could have that on every screen so if there is an alarm and the alarm gets cleared the operator can then reset that alarm from any screen and all we would do is we would just place a button on this template all i'm going to do however is just leave this template as it is now you'll notice I'm not putting in any sort of screen titles. Sometimes you might have a title on the screen to let the operator know whereabouts on the HMI he is. I'm not putting the screen title on this template, however, because if I put it on the template, that is gonna show on every screen, and on every screen there's gonna be a different title. I'm gonna do that on the actual screens themselves. So now that I've actually created my template and I've added this date and time in over here, if I go to my home screen, you'll notice that my home screen hasn't updated and that's because it's currently not using the template so for me to use a template if i go to the properties and then expand the three dots you'll then see my template inside of here and if i tick that now it updates and you'll notice the actual date and time doesn't look as clear as it does on the template it looks slightly faded that's just there to tell you that that's part of the template and it's not part of this screen now what i want to do is i want to create two more screens i want to create one screen for the control one screen for my alarms and the home screen is simply going to have the navigation to bounce between the control screen the alarm screen and go back to the home screen etc so to do this i'm just then going to select add new screen if i select add new screen it then pops up here screen one and i'm going to right click this read in the screen control and then i'm going to create a new screen and then i'm going to right click this screen and rename this alarms there we go now if i just go back to the home screen I'm going to take these two push buttons and lamps, I'm going to copy them from the HMI and then I'm going to paste them onto the control screen. So if I go to the control screen, now what I can then do is right click, paste, and then if I go to the properties of the control screen here, I can then change the template for this control screen to be template. And then there it is there. Change the background to be the lightish grey, minimise that. And then if I go to my alarm screen, again, go to the properties here. Template is my normal template. And the background is my lightish grey. Now you'll also notice I had to change the background even though my template is a light grey anyways. This is because inside of our global screen, if I just double click this, the global screen is a dark gray. This means that every screen that I add is then gonna have this dark gray format. Now what I might wanna do is I might well say, well, hang on, let's add in this light gray. And now whenever I add in a new screen, it's gonna use this light gray feature here. Let's go back to the control. What I'm gonna do is just move these down a tiny bit. And I'm then going to add in a title, and this title is just going to tell me that this is the control screen. There we go. And if I just go to the properties, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the actual colour of this inside of the appearance. And I want to change the colour of the text to a black. And I then want to go to general, and then change the actual size of this to size 15. There we go. And I'm just going to move this into the centre of the screen. There we go, my control screen is then set up. If I then copy that and then go to the alarm screen, I can then paste that into the alarm screen and then it's gonna paste it at the exact same position and then I wanna change this to alarms, like so. Now, if I go back to the home screen, I'm then gonna delete these two inputs and the actual lamps. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some navigation. And to create the navigation, I'm simply going to add in some buttons to my HMI. And in this button here, I'm going to call this control. And then I'm going to add another button in for alarms. Like that. And I'm just going to put them into the center of the screen somewhat. There we go. 
So what's going to happen is when the operator, first of all, powers on the machine, it's going to go to the home screen and then it's going to ask them where do they want to go within the home screen. Do they want to go to the control screen or do they want to go to the alarm screen? We're going to create the alarms later on. All we do here is we just go to the control, go to properties, go to events, and then say on the press, I then want to add a function where I activate a screen. And then the screen that I want to activate is going to be my control screen. So when the operator presses this button here, it's then gonna activate the control screen. Now, if I go to my alarms and I go to events, go to press, what I'm then going to do is scroll down until I see screens. There we go, activate screen. And then inside of here, I'm then just gonna select my alarm screen. Tick that, close that box down there. So now when the operator presses control, it's gonna take them to the control screen, he presses alarms, it's gonna take them to the alarm screen. The problem is, how does he get back to the home screen? Well, what we can then do is then we can create buttons on the alarm screen and the control screen to take them back to home. So if I now open up my alarm screen, I can then add another button into here. And I want to just call this home. Move it to the bottom left because you're going to actually have the alarms interface in the middle of the screen. So bottom left is where my button is going to go. If I then go to the properties, if I then select press, drop this down, open up my screen, activate screen, and then take them back to home. Tick that. There we go. If I then just copy that and then I go to control, and then I just paste this into here. It's gonna paste it in the exact same position. And then that will now have the properties of the previous button, which is to take me back to home. Now this control and this alarm screen, the actual screen color is slightly different. So all I'm gonna do is just go to my home screen and then change this to this color here, the slightly darker color. And then I'm just gonna save the project and now I'm gonna test it out to make sure that my navigation and my templates now work. So I'm just gonna open up the simulator. Start simulation, it's gonna start the simulation with the home screen, which is fine. Say okay to that. And here we go. So we're now on the home screen. We've got buttons to go to the control. We've got buttons to go to the alarm. If I press control, it then takes me to my control screen. If I press input one, it turns on the first lamp. If I press input two, it turns on the second lamp. If I press the home screen, it takes me back to home. And now if I press the alarm screen, it takes me to my alarms. I can then go back to home from there as well. And you can see at the top, there's my time and date. And that there is available on every single screen. And that there is simply just a short introduction to creating navigation using buttons to be able to move from one screen to another, as well as creating templates inside the project to create some uniformity within all of the screens. So I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction to creating navigation and creating templates. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Enjoy your week.